Ah, oh, so you think it's a glorious life, do you? Most companies would kill for a recruit like you. Kids who think it's all fun and games take less pay. Here, look. Right arm? That's a knack, Sarah bite. Bites, I should say. They don't really start biting until they've got the whole mouth around you. <laughs> but no sense scaring you with that. You won't live to see those, boy. For you, this one here, crossbow bolt right in the chest. Usually that'd finish you off, but if you're lucky, it just cracks your sternum and keeps you from lying down rest of your life. Still got the fletching from it here, stitched on my glove. Ah, and this here ring is something special. If I take it out, you can see it fits in this little notch in my head. Courtesy of a fur trader who didn't like his delivery being covered in blood. If he'd warned us his shipment was going right past an outlaw fort, we might not have taken this thing from him as compensation. He'd probably still have the rest of his hand, too. <laughs> he was one of the good ones, though. It's the elder men who really get you by the guts. There was a time, they say, when the nobles had to lead their own men out to deal with bandits and beasts. But they found themselves a ripe little scheme instead. Let the terrors roam, let lives fall apart, villages burn, whatever it takes. You end up with a lot of desperate people with nothing to their name. Then, a noble can offer one-tenth of the prize he'd give to his own men, and the rabble rush off to die trying to undo the damage their paymasters wanted. Sometimes it works. And then who can say that the nobles didn't do anything to help the people, eh? Yes, they pay good money to the starving wretches below the banners, just enough that the food and gold trickles into the warm halls day after day, and the masters don't have to lift a finger. And I'm not saying we don't have a choice. I mean, you can always go try your hand at farming instead, boy. In fact, I recommend it. Because a mercenary might get paid more day to day, but you get a lot more swords at your neck for it, and damn well no place you can call home. I bet these louts grumble about the lords taking their tithe, but we were tithed too. Tithed in blood, tithed in warm beds, tithed in summers. And at the end of those hard days, looking like a beast and feeling worse, you spend every coin you earn just trying to fix yourself up to be presentable for the next haul you have to grovel at. And of course, having a pint, feeling alive from time to time. It's hard to enjoy it, thinking about what happens when it's over. And there's never more than a night ahead of you before it's all over, boy. Then you might be missing a leg the night after that. Or missing... missing your brothers. That's one I can't show you. That's what they take from your insides. Sometimes you think it's alright to be bleeding in the howling snow because someone else is there doing the same. But that changes easy as the wind, and no bag of crowns will do anything about it. Well, there's the drink, there's the drink. And there's the necromancers. Nobles too, them. Bastards with their books getting kicked down the stairs, making no friends anywhere how they are, so they... As I said, boy, you won't live to see any of that, so never you mind it. I bet you think I'm lying with all this, don't you? You'll think that I wouldn't be sitting here at all if this were true. But it's both. I had to join up when I did. Farms were full up, but the graveyard's got space yet. So let's drain a tavern and go out being sword brothers, we thought. Do the work the nobles wouldn't get off their thrones for, in exchange for living to see if you'll die tomorrow. That's the world they've made for us. And what are we supposed to do? I had the choice of dying in service to the nobles, or starving in a ditch of my own choosing. I've been here thinking there's more dignity in the ditch. That was what, uh... <sighs> Off with you then, unless you've got gold to lend, boy. Ah, you were hoping to pinch a penny from me, weren't you? You think they'd let a veteran killer get his hands on any gold? Noblin's a slyer game than that, boy. Orcs gathering in the woods, and now it's my problem. I was thinking... I was thinking I wouldn't go. 
if we all just wait in here. They'll come to us, and then our noble friends won't get a single drop of sweat more out of me, will they? That's the only way it ends, far as I can see. But since you came over and asked me and all, I think I might go. A lot more at stake than a noble's unearned bath, ain't there? Someone's gotta do it. We just can't keep going like this. <sighs> Until the next pint. Oi, brothers, it's time to get to work. Come on, leave this scrawny hand to his cleaning. And if we don't come back, he'll finish the job for us, won't you, boy? Just remember what I said. Thank mm -hmm. you.